Good morning. My name is Aruna Giri Mudaliar. I'm an author, world class trainer, an international sportsman, and a successful industrialist. Friends, good morning. I'm going to talk about thought leadership. Friends, it is normally said today that thoughts become things. They say, depending upon what thoughts you arbor, that's what is your destiny. And it has been proven that today every human being on a daily basis gets almost 60,000 thoughts. Also, research has proven that 90% of these thoughts are negative and repetitive. And only 10% of the thoughts are really positive and forwarding. One more research has shown that uh, we as human beings have been bestowed by Almighty to have the power of choice. Out of the 60,000 thoughts which you normally get in a day, you are the master. You are the person who has the power to choose which thoughts to focus on. And as you know, where the focus goes, energy flows and results manifest. So ultimately, you have to be an importer of the thought. You have to be the person who has to determine, decide as to which thoughts to work upon. When the manifestation cycle uh, which is there in terms of the thought management is it goes its way. Thoughts become your words. Words becomes your action. Action repeated becomes your habit. The combination of all the habits makes your character. And your character normally determines your destiny. And it's been said that the way your destiny is that again leads to the, uh, the origin of the future thoughts. So if you can manage the thoughts at the thought level, you automatically can, can manage your destiny as well. So this is why it is very, very important for us to really manage which thoughts to focus on. Thoughts may come and thoughts may go, but it, it is ultimately you. We always talk about one thing. Do you have thoughts or thoughts have you? If you see generally, if you see most of the human beings get carried away or flown away by the thought, thought flow, whatever thoughts happen, that leads to their feelings and emotions and they, they get carried away. But we as human beings have been given the power to have thoughts. You, know, you are not uh, uh, under the thoughts. You are actually a master of your thoughts. Here again I would like to share with you uh, about the body-mind-intellect combination. Okay. How does thought uh, originate? Out of the five senses, from the five senses, the various impulses are gathered and it is deposited into a conceptual bag called the mind. Then from this, all this conceptual, in the virtual bag of mind, whatever thoughts are originating, then it is your intellect, which we call as buddhi, which determines as to, depending upon the level of your intellect, depending upon the sharpness and the development and the evolution of intellect, you are able to uh, screen out positive or negative uh, thoughts and then on the basis of the decision of the discriminatory power of the intellect you are able to choose the thought and focus on that so that's why they always say all the wise men of our ages had always said that buddhi ko apke man ke piche ke jasus bana ke rakhna okay and if your buddhi is really strong and if he is able to really control uh, uh, your mind which is very chanchal and then automatically you will be able to uh, focus on the empowering thoughts, the proper thoughts, the good thoughts and automatically your subsequent action, habits and character would also be good. So ultimately friends, we as Indians, we should be proud that our ancestors uh, developed yoga and more so in yoga about meditation and in meditation, most of the meditation techniques which is known they teach you about how you can be a witness to your thoughts. Being a witness to your thoughts means all these thoughts may come and go, but you are not affected by the thoughts. You are still in silence. And being in silence means not being impacted or carried away by the thoughts. And our gurus have shown us how important it is to cultivate this power of silence through meditation and thereby have a total control over your life. And you don't allow any of the external factors to ever impact you. So friends, ultimately, let's all work towards thought leadership and thereby you will get life leadership. Thank you.